Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. This is officially um, our first webinar of the year, and I'm thrilled um, to see all of you coming back again for our webinars, and, and it's going to be a fun one today because one of my dear friends is going to be presenting. So my name is Joni Ogg, and on behalf of TravelProfessionalNews.com, HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, and FindAHostTravelAgency.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar, and I really do appreciate your taking the time out of your busy days to join with us. I'm so excited today because I get to welcome my longtime and very dear friend, Scott Kepp, to speak with us. We have been friends and colleagues for so many years, and I think I've lost count. But for those of you who have had the opportunity to hear Scott present, you know that you are in for an amazing presentation and for those of you who have not had the pleasure of seeing and or hearing him speak, you're in for a treat today. Scott Kep is the Senior Vice President of Strategic Development with Cruise Planners, supporting the growth of the Cruise Planners Network. By leading the training and the events teams and exploring new opportunities for strategic development. Now, Scott joined Cruise Planners with more than 30 years of experience in the travel industry. And he started as a travel franchise owner. I knew him back then, eventually becoming a president of that organization. So he knows what it takes to be a successful franchisee. He is a travel agent advocate, and he loves helping each cruise planner and franchisee achieve their goals. His known industry, I, I, excuse me, his commitment to travel agents and it runs deep, and Scott is, is a well-known industry icon, and he serves on so many supplier and industry advisory boards. And he's a highly regarded motivational speaker. And he also sings. He may not tell that you that, but he does. His extensive knowledge of sales and travel retail operations are now focused on helping each and every Cruise Planners franchisee reach its full potential. Please remember that you're all muted, but we do welcome your questions at any time. And you can just type those in on the screen on the right-hand side that you see where it says questions. And when the presentation is all over, we're going to take as many questions as we can. And today, one really lucky attendee is going to be awarded a $100 gift card. So that's very cool. And thank you guys for doing that at Cruise Planners. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to my good friend so he can get started. Welcome, Scott. Oh, Johnny, what a great introduction. Wow, I'm not sure any of it's true, but it's uh, wonderful to be on here with you. I love uh, being with you. And as you said, we uh, we go back a long way in this business. And uh, if anybody knows the the world of travel advisors and host agencies and uh, and all of the parts of this business, it's you. And so again, it's more than a pleasure to be here with you. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever, wherever you might be listening and joining us today. We are excited about having you on the call today. I've got probably about seven and a half hours worth of content. I'm going to kind of cram into this, this short uh, uh, video here. But again, I, I really just want to thank you for taking the time to learn about cruise planners and about one of the paths that certainly is available to you in this industry. And as you can see here on the screen, we've titled this Time is Money mainly because when I think about what's going on in our industry today, and which let's all face it, it's a lot different than it was over the previous two and a half years, uh, it's, it's crazy time, right? And hopefully you're all feeling that, you're experiencing some of this uh, amazing, we call it the wave, of course, but I'm not even sure that gives it the, the right terminology. It's more like a tsunami that is, that is hitting in terms of demand that's out there and everything that's going on in the industry. And so, you know, it could well be that really what you're experiencing here is uh, uh, is looking like this, right? I mean, this the, the phone's ringing, the the emails are coming in, the text messages. You're you're still on hold because let's face it, all our suppliers are still trying to catch up and and uh, bring on their full staffing and all that good stuff to to uh, to help you. But it's crazy. It's how do you uh, again become more successful in this business and well, certainly there's a lot of other organizations out there, including ours, that'll say, oh, you know, we're wonderful and we, we have all the answers, et cetera, and everybody sounds good, right? At the end of the day, the most important thing I think that you can ask is, you know, not what's your commission split, not what are your commissions. Those are important questions, but I'm going to say most of the major players have pretty similar answers. I think you'll find that, you know, our financial picture is very similar to most other host agencies 
you're going to find the same thing around uh, around a lot of the other aspects that they talk about training, et cetera. But really, what it comes down to is, is there a relationship that you can have that will help you be more efficient? Now, that's answered in a number of different ways. But really, if you think about it, if the organization that you affiliate with can help you get to one more booking or two more bookings a day, a week, a month, whatever it might be, that's a huge financial change than simply giving you, uh, you know, another point in commission or whatever the case is. Now, the good news with us is that, again, while we're at the top of that game in terms of commission levels and all of the other aspects of running your business financially, we really have solutions that are a little deeper and, again, are focused in how we make you more successful. Now, part of that, I want to start by just uh, uh, giving kind of a dis uh, description or an answer as to why franchising, because sometimes that term alone is a little scary. And I want to point it out because uh, in some ways you might just define it, uh, define us as a host agency, because by definition, we still are a host. And I will say that many of you are either in a host relationship right now, or you're considering a franchise, obviously you're on this call, uh, or you're considering a host agency and you're thinking, well, you know, a host sounds maybe a little, a little less daunting than a franchise, uh, but really in so many ways, we are similar in the model in that our whole business is designed around helping our individual members succeed. And as you can see here in the franchising model specifically, nine out of 10 franchises succeed. And that's a, a kind of an industry-wide statistic across all of franchising. The important part of a franchise and really to differentiate the franchise from the, uh, the other host agencies that are out there is that as a franchise, we really focus on our systems and the systems that make us different. And again, that, that's gonna start from our training programs where we have a in-person one week training program. Now, for some of you, you might be thinking, oh, Scott, I've already been in this business for quite a while. I'm not sure I need that. We've had people that have gone through this training that have been in the business for 10, 20, 30 years and still think it's one of the best experiences they've ever had. Because again, it's very in-depth. We have so much to cover and there's nothing like in-person training. Now we all became Zoom experts and we all spent a lot of time on these webinars over the last few years. But the reality is I think we all came to the conclusion too that nothing quite matches having that eyeball to eyeball kind of connection. So uh, again, we take that part of our system very seriously and very important part. Our marketing programs are really cutting edge, top of the industry. I'm going to spend most of the time today talking about our technology programs, because again, if it comes down to your efficiency, how you can sell more, be more efficient with whatever time you're putting into this business, then there's no minimum requirements on a franchise on, you know, that's different than a host. In other words, you can do this part-time, full-time, whatever your commitment is to the business, that certainly works within the cruise planner system. And then of course, we have an extraordinary support team, which is an important part, again, of the franchise model. Again, we say it requires less capital, and that's because, again, you don't need to have additional payments for extra technology, other third-party technology, other kinds of programs, et cetera, to sign up with. It's all within our system. And again, it does reduce your risk a lot because of the purchasing power that we have. We are now one of the top, I'll say for sure, one of the top 10 sellers of cruises and tours in, in the United States. And, uh, and continuing to grow or in the uh, travel weekly power list. Uh, again, if you look at the leisure business, there's only uh, really a few of us that are in the very top that are selling primarily leisure. And again, we uh, those numbers do mean something. Again, as we continue to grow and become the number one producer for most of the major suppliers out there, uh, having won a, a tremendous number of awards for most of the suppliers, is that that's going to help you. It helps in terms of pricing, offers, programs, all kinds of uh, reputation, et cetera, within the industry. But it also gives us a common brand to take to the consumer. Now, we don't pretend to say that we're the same kind of uh, franchise as McDonald's, that everybody's going to know that name the minute that they see it. But again, it does give that extra credibility to a consumer when you are part of something bigger and they can, again, get that extra credibility. No doubt they're going to be dealing with you and your service and uh, that personal relationship you're going to build. 
but really it's uh, the benefit you get with cruise planners is that additional logo that logo that again gives you that strength and that power and the market dominance that comes with that so uh, again i like to point out that again all host agencies are pretty much going to talk about these four things right they're going to talk about all our marketing and marketing programs However, you'll note that most host agencies today don't really do a lot of their own marketing. They actually defer that over to a consortia, which is okay. And we certainly are part of the signature consortia, which we think is uh, just the best there is and, and offers tremendous programs. But we also have a very robust marketing program in and of ourselves. And again, the beauty of that, that it's through that common branding that we can make it even more powerful to each of our franchisees. Uh, the technology side again i'm going to dig into deeply today training i mentioned we do the in-person as a startup but then we have ongoing training programs and of course our business development which is our term for the support side to help you be successful again uh, unlike in, in other cases where uh, people might have various different divisions or departments that are selling travel the only way that we sell travel at Cruise Planners is through our franchisees. We don't sell travel in any other way. There's no other holding company that sells travel. It's 100% based on the success of our franchisees. So your success means our success. And that obviously is extremely important in terms of making your choice of who to join. Which brings me to, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Scott, you know, of course you're gonna say all these nice things. You're paid to say that. That's, you know, you work for the company. You've, Yes, as uh, Joni said, I've been around a gazillion years in this business. I love this industry inside out and backwards. And I made the choice to join Cruise Planners because I thought it was the absolute best choice in the industry. But hey, I, I, you know, again, I want you to hear it from someone who's not paid to do this, who actually comes uh, out of uh, the, the travel industry, but really uh, has just joined us for a, a short period of time. But I'd like to introduce you to Rebecca Henry, who is one of our Cruise Planners franchise owners. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Scott. Well, it's so great to have you on this call. And again, uh, I, I love to have one of our franchisees on because again, they're, they're not paid to be here. They're gonna talk from the heart. And before we get into the Cruise Planners world, Rebecca, tell us a little bit about your background up and to Cruise Planners. Well, okay, so I spent 20 years in television ad sales and then just got burned out with that whole industry and doing that. I had been doing it for so long. I'd always had a passion for travel and it was just literally by accident that I was going on a cruise. I was working with a, my travel agent at AAA and um, they had an opening and she said, you would be great at this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be a dream come true. So I went to work for AAA in 2019. And uh, as we all know, 2020 brought COVID and that was the end of my AAA job. <laughs> so um, I should mention that during 2019, I went on a ship inspection tour with AAA um, to Holland America. And I encountered a group of cruise planners and I was just immediately impressed with this group. They were well-dressed. You could tell that it was just a really great group. They had on matching green name tags and that, that impression just kind of stuck with me. So as luck would have it, while I was furloughed waiting to see what was going to happen to my position at AAA, I got an entrepreneur magazine and I saw the ad and I thought, you know, I remember these guys. I'm going to check them out because I was not at all willing to give up my passion working in travel. So I started looking around and I was very impressed. I made the phone call and two and a half years later, it's probably the best decision I ever made in my entire life. Yay, and we are, we're so glad to have you in the team in green. And you can see you in, based on this picture is that we do indeed, including Rebecca, embrace that team in green scenario. And uh, you may have seen us at some of these events as Rebecca did. Uh, in our uh, our green attire, uh, which again is part of the branding, it's an important part of of who we are. But again, it's it's uh, it's great as you can tell. Rebecca had the background in the industry, and of course, I'll say this is one of the good things that came out of the pandemic is that uh, Rebecca and others uh, in the industry who did the research have come over to us. And you know, you you uh, you so you joined Cruise Planners. 
one of the things that is a little bit unique in your scenario is that you've actually decided to do a brick and mortar location, which is still very rare. Ninety-eight percent of probably all of our Cruise Planners members do work from home, so it's not a problem that you made this choice to go into this great location. Uh, absolutely, and part of that is just because of this huge growth explosion. Um, when I started with Cruise Planners, when I, the day I opened my business, I had people wanting to book, even in the middle of the pandemic. And I went from $90,000 in sales in 2020 to over a million in 2022. And I, I told my husband, I said, I cannot maintain this pace by myself. So the next step was trying to find a couple of associates to come on and help me. And I just hired two fantastic young ladies, getting them trained. One of them has a background in hospitality. She actually worked for Disney for a while. And um, I said, okay, we need a place to work. And we just decided to go ahead and open a storefront so that we could get the walk-in traffic and have enough space for, for everyone and people to, to know where we are. So we want to be, you know, we want to serve this community where I live and we want to be known in the area. So that's kind of where all that started. But um, it's been a fantastic ride the last two and a half years. I, I have to pinch myself every day. I really do. I love it. And and again, as we know, you know, again, it's not uh, not everybody does the uh, storefront, but it's just a great marketing choice. And uh, and again, it's such a, a phenomenal story of your your growth and the business and uh, and where obviously you've built your business. And so let me ask you, what is uh, you've kind of you've gone through the training. You've now been with us a while. What are your favorite aspects of what uh, Cruise Planners offers to you? The training and the technology and the support, I have never seen a kind of atmosphere or a business model like Cruise Planners. They are there to strict, they, all they do is offer support and, you know, encouragement for the business owners. I mean, the technology, it, it's just like there's new things added every single day that makes our lives easier. And it's so funny to me because I'm on other, you know, Facebook pages with other, you know, agents from other host agencies and they'll say things like how often do you guys email your database and i'm over here snickering because i'm thinking cruise planners does that for me every single week every single week my clients get the most current sales and they get all these offers and everything and it goes out automatically i don't do anything for that if i want to do an e-card i can do an e-card to my clients even if it's just a happy birthday set it and forget it type situation or like with my grand opening of my store. I mean, it took me maybe five minutes to do an e-card and send it out to all of my clients. And, you know, it's that kind of thing. Uh, the website, I get so many compliments on the website. It's professionally maintained, but I can still put my spin on it. You know, I can go in there, I can create pages when I have specials or I can put my little personal touches and, and some verbiage on there about me and make it fun and playful. But at the same time, it's just fantastic. So all of these things, um, even the way that we put our bookings in, I mean, you don't even have to have people in your database. You do a one click retrieve reservation, put the reservation number in there. It is connected with the cruise lines and it pops all that information in there. You're like two clicks and you're done. Uh, a lot of times on Sunday nights late, I'll come in here and take a whole stack of like a one inch stack of bookings for the week and put them all in, just jam them all in because it literally takes seconds to put those in the system. I can't say enough about the tools, the training, just all the support, everybody from, from the top down. It's just an amazing organization. Rebecca, thank you so much for uh, those comments. And, and again, I will say that, uh, you know, Rebecca uh, is uh, certainly a, a wonderful addition to the, the team in green, and we love her enthusiasm and excitement, and I promise you uh, she wasn't asked to say anything specifically on this call. We just said we're going to ask you a couple of questions, and and uh, and away you go, and so it's from the heart, and uh, again, I think you'll find that in terms of comparing us against any other kind of option that's out there, uh, the host side, et cetera, is that we really do excel across all of these areas, and uh, and to her point is that we really just want you to succeed in whatever way you, that that is important to you. So, Rebecca, I want to thank you again for joining me today. And I'm going to dig a little deeper into the technology side of our business. But 
wow, continue those great uh, those great sales. I, the the, uh, the future looks fabulous. It was my pleasure. I was uh, I'm honored that you guys asked me to speak, and and everything I did say was from the heart. I'm I'm as transparent and honest as the day is long, but I love cruise planners. Thank you again, Rebecca. So great to have you on the call. Thank you, guys. All right. Well, let me continue, and I'm going to be specific uh, now and talk about again why we call this this whole session "Time is Money." And as Rebecca said, again, you can see she's already grown so fast that she's actually looking for help, getting more people involved. Uh, because again, her success has been phenomenal. Now, of course, there's no guarantees of success across, you know, who's going to do what, depending on the amount of time and commitment. But our job and what we really want to do is to provide all the resources for you, right? To provide everything that we can so that you can maximize your earnings. And I just love this chart, came across this years and years ago of you know, what is your time really worth? How much is, uh, is your time worth? And you can kind of see there, that again, uh, depending on what your uh, your salary level you either may want or have, or you know what you think your time is worth, it definitely varies, right? Of what your annual income would be, and then what every, every single hour is worth to you, or every minute is worth to you. So again, if we can create a system, which is what we have focused on over the last few years in particular at Cruise Planners, is how can we focus our technology and everything else we do to get you more time to be able to have more income. And so it really comes down to how we use this particular chart, right? So think about all the things that you do on a regular basis, right? The, the time that is basically burnt up not being able to sell because you're doing uh, emails or you're researching or marketing, et cetera. And if we can, through the systems we provide, just shave those off by, let's say a half an hour here, an hour there, because we've got technology to to play within all of these roles imagine again depending on what the level of income that you want or that you want to attain the amount of savings that that'll bring you and it actually will probably bring you from one of those levels up to the the, the next level up to the highest level and beyond right so there's a, a huge opportunity to really change your business not because again of any esoterics here of uh you know our support is wonderful our training and again i'll stand up uh, our training and support against anybody in our marketing programs but really and what i'm going to focus on the rest of our time is is very quantifiable and a question that i would very specifically ask anyone else that you're looking at any other host agency etc is say please walk me through your technology first of all is it yours? Do you own it? Or is it third party? If it's third party, that means that the host has zero ability to impact it, change it, update it. They can't do anything to that software because it's not theirs. They're passing it off. Then yet the truth is, is that your software, which holds your database, which holds the value of your company, it, it provides all of your accounting information, it provides all the details you need to provide great customer service. All of that is housed within the technology system. And if that's all outsourced, that's a big red flag right to start with. Secondly is then to determine, well, what all does your technology do and how integrated it is? And that might be the biggest key. There might be some that say, oh, we have a database and oh, maybe we have a reservation system. But do they have all of the other elements that it takes to be successful in this business? Well, we like to think our little doggy here, which we call CP Max, is really the solution that does really walk through every aspect of the business. And actually, we just released a, a, a new diagram, a new program that we use to train, uh, which really is kind of called Get Ready, Market, Sell. And I'm going to walk through this with you. This is what we teach uh, to a great extent at our Star University, is tying all this together of what it takes to be successful in cruise planners. And I will tell you generally, it's what it takes to be successful in the travel business, the only difference is, is that we've automated it all. Everything you see on this page, and I'm not gonna go in detail through all of it because we just don't have the time, but this is what I'm going, what we do go through at the Star University. And again, we relate all of the resources that we have into these diagrams. Is there's really, if you, if you look there at the pyramid, that's our, what we call our journey to the North Star. This might be the, the ready portion that we're talking about. This are all the things that we recommend that any agency spend the time to really set themselves up for success. And there's certain elements that, that builds upon each other within this pyramid. 
So as an example, we'll start at the top, the North Star. Well, that's just your ultimate goal. What do you want from your business? What does it look like? What's the lifestyle you're looking for? And, and then your USP, also very important. In other words, what is the unique selling proposition that you bring to the customers? Now, part of that is certainly helped by being part of cruise planners to have that brand behind you. But at the end, it's up to you also. What is it you're going to do? What kind of service are you going to provide? And then we have built into our system the ability to actually document those and then update them and change them. It's not just an esoteric, oh, you really should know this. No, we want you to craft it and to put it into our system where you can see it every day. Those two things that answer the question of why you are in this business and then the question from a consumer of why should I do business with you? And those are two very important things that everything else builds up to. And then, of course, you get into the goals, which is more of the financial side of setting up, well, I'd like to be uh, like Rebecca. I want to do a million dollars in business. Great. You set that as your goal. Then you have sub goals underneath that. I want to do a certain amount with this supplier or a certain amount in river cruises or ocean cruises or all-inclusive resorts. We can break it down that way or by certain uh, suppliers. So, again, ways to take your goals and specifically put them in the system, and the system will track those for you. And then you get to the plans and the strategies, which again, we have built into our system and no one else in the industry has this, a complete marketing plan and program that ties everything in together. So in other words, let's say you do the wine and cheese festival in your town. Well, a lot of times uh, everybody will come up with that same idea and say, yeah, it's a great idea. That's a good way to build up your client base. Well, the question then becomes, do you really know when it's all said and done, whether that was a successful marketing effort for you? Well, our system is designed not only to help you plan for that event and put together a whole series of events that need to happen that will get you the maximum out of being a part of that event, but then it'll track all of the results of that event over time. So again, now after it, you might come back and say, well, I think it went pretty well. Well, now you're going to actually know. You'll know how many new people you added to your database. You'll know how many uh, leads you got, people who actually really said, I really want to go, I want to talk to you, then you'll actually be able to track the actual amount of sales that you did across all the po folks that came to that show. So you'll then be able to run your return on investment and say, oh, okay, that's something I want to do every year, or I want to do 10 of those a year, or, oh my gosh, I'm never doing that again. I spent a fortune and I didn't get uh, hardly any results from it. All of that trackable within the system because it's all integrated. So the plans that you have, again, knowing that really when you think about our business, it's a sales and marketing business. And so you need to be able to track that back to know what's working and what isn't, to be able to look at your social media and to know whether it's really tracking not only the number of likes, which sometimes we think, ooh, that's neat. Look at all the people that like. Well, at the end, it's like, yeah, but are sales coming from it? Are you actually getting customers or people buying from you? all trackable within our system. And finally, we kind of have uh, the systems at the bottom here that I'll talk about, which uh, again, are incredibly important to our system. We have built three different systems that I think are what I kind of call the, the trifecta of our, of our system. One is being the marketing efforts that I talked about. The second being what we call the sales opportunity system. And that's really simply a, a lead management system. So different than just putting a name in your database, this actually takes someone who says, hey, I'd like some information on Alaska or whatever it is they wanna do, and then we'll track them through the whole cycle of selling and make sure that you are following up with them on a regular basis, all built into the system. So that way you know how many leads you're getting, you know how you're doing from a sales perspective, you know the next step that you should take with each of your customers. You know, it's a pretty easy thing to do if you only have one customer. But I think most of you on this call are probably on this call because you want to have more than just one. And all of a sudden, you've got two, three, 10, 20. And like Rebecca, you got so many that it really becomes overwhelming. Well, this is what helps that. This is the system designed to help you get to a million and then more of being able to juggle all of the things that you're doing in this sales and marketing cycle that you live in within the travel advisor world. And then the last one, which is the piece that ties this all together, again, it's an industry only. I don't know of anyone else in the industry that has this. Uh, people who have something even similar have to go again to third parties that are outside of travel, but it's called our task management system. And basically it allows you to set up tasks for every aspect of your business, including marketing programs, 
things you're doing uh, that you, you want to just complete in marketing uh, so that, again, if you want to make sure I send out the emails, as Rebecca was talking about, sending out an email for a birthday anniversary, it can all be automated in the system and remind you. And then, indeed, for every single sales opportunity you have, every lead you have, it will then build a task to say, oh, the next thing you need to do is to call this person. Next thing you need to do is to do some research on that Alaska trip that they were interested in. Next thing you need to do. And each time, and all of those tasks will be presented to you every day. So there's never a question of your priority. There's never a question of things falling through the crack because you have the full task system uh, involved. And, and in many cases, to even find a system that's half as sophisticated as ours, you'd probably pay $100 a month just for that system, uh, a good cloud-based task management kind of system. So again, everything's integrated here, and that's the beauty of this. If it's a task that you need to call a customer back, you click on it, it's going to pull up that customer's record, give you all the information on that customer. So all of this is available, and of course, that leads over again to the other diagram here, which takes you through all of the aspects of what it takes to basically be successful in this business and to make a sale. And that starts with acquisition marketing, in other words, building your database, getting people into the database, and then reaction marketing. Uh, you might say it's getting them out of your database, right? It's getting them to raise their hand and say, hey, I'd like to talk to you about my vacation. And then it's going through, as this, as this shown here in these white boxes, of all the steps in the sale and walking through how do you how do you have impact how can you increase your sales by making sure you're doing the best you can and have the right resources to give to maximize your success at each step along the way and then of course the land, land landing with retention marketing which is how you bring people back and how important that is in our business as we know that again your past customers are usually going to be your best customers and you want to make sure that you keep them coming back so one of the things that is really unique about our system is all these things I just talked about are all completely available, not only in your computer system, but they are mobile first. In other words, this is all available even on your phone, meaning you can pretty much run your business anywhere that there's a, we used to say there's Wi-Fi, you don't need Wi-Fi, all you need is your phone. And, uh, and again, you can get on and get to all of these resources, et cetera. We also have a consumer app, so the consumer be can be connected with you through the app that they have, allows you to do various notifications for them to select favorites, back and forth, and of course, all the information of any upcoming trips. But again, this is a, uh, a mobile type of technology, and I like to use that term because some cases I think we, we do ourselves damage when we say, oh, we're a home-based operation. And while Rebecca was the rarity and that she has actually a physical location she's decided to use, most of our advisors are indeed home-based. But we don't recommend using that term. Why? Because we got plenty of them that are out and about. They're cruising the world. They're taking 10, 12 cruises a year or going to all-inclusive resorts. And they're doing their work right there. There's no reason you have to be at home. And sometimes the best thing you can do is to get out the door and to sit at a Starbucks and, and uh, let people know what business you're in. So... Again, being mobile is incredibly important, and I like mobile travel advisor versus a home-based travel advisor for sure. Well, as I mentioned, again, we've got this, uh, this ability to get ready, which takes you through the North Star. And uh, again, I love this quote, people with goals succeed because they know where they're going. And again, there's a lot of great trainers in our business and a lot of folks that talk about how important goal setting is. And uh, certainly I agree with every single one of them. The big difference in our world is that we take it to the next step and actually provide within our system the automatic trackability and the, the ability for you to record and determine what are the, all those goals are. So it's not just an esoteric scenario. It's actually really providing that resource. And as I mentioned earlier, it's the resource that will show you exactly how you're doing. We have what we call our SOAR dashboard, and our SOAR dashboard actually starts, right, as I mentioned before, is it starts with you creating your own North Star, you put in your own North Star there, you then add your own unique selling proposition, and then you choose the goals that you want to focus on and actually look at. Now, you can choose as many as you want. You can have 10, 20, 30 different goals. There are three featured ones that will show up at the top of your SOAR dashboard, which I'll talk about in just a little bit, that really gives you the snapshot of how you're doing in your business. But again, it's going to show what your total departure goals is, as an example, and how you're tracking to that. And then again, if you have a supplier or a certain type of business that you want to focus on, it's going to allow you to track all of that. 
I mentioned the co-op of the marketing plans. And again, that's just a, a series of efforts. So marketing plans uh, are really just designed to be various marketing efforts that you do under a certain time frame, be it quarterly, yearly, et cetera, and all of that built into the system. In addition to that, we take that same information and allow you to create very professional co-op proposals. This is again, uh, something I don't think anybody else in the industry has. And again, if you go to pretty much any of the shows these days, uh, whether it's cruise planners or otherwise, it's amazing, but the sales manager up there basically saying out loud in front of all these advisors, we have money, we have money, would you please come to us for money? And in other words, they just really want agents to be marketing. They want you to go out there and to knock on doors and to be a part of that wine and cheese festival or whatever the case it might be. And they've got dollars to, to do it with. However, in those cases, they're not given a very professional proposal as to why they should invest in that particular wine and cheese festival. And that's what our system does. It'll take that marketing effort that you've built and then it can build very quickly in about four uh, keystrokes of a co-op proposal for any, any major cruise line or all-inclusive resort, you name it. Basically, you can then send them a PDF or print it out as a proposal, however you wanna meet with that, that uh, business development manager and get additional co-op to help build your business. Again, all built into the system. So again, you can see here a couple of examples. We've got marketing plans that shows, okay, here are the various things that I plan on doing. This gives you again, uh, available for every single one of the marketing efforts that you do. It will show you how much you spent and then how much co-op you got in, what a real cost was, and then all of the data that goes with that. So the number of bookings, how much sales, how many commissions, and you can see in this particular case, did pretty good, right? Net cost of 4,000, total commission 16,000. I'd say you're gonna do this again, right? So I think you're gonna continue with that particular marketing plan. And then you can see over on the other side, again, this would have a logo and your information on this also, but just to give you a snapshot, is again, it just is a professionally printed out co-op proposal that is available to you to submit to any supplier and to again, help you uh, with your marketing costs. So again, very unique approach to the business in that all of this is tied together. It's all integrated, not separate systems. And that leads me to, again, that so the, the task manager, which again, you can see there's a couple other features, buckets, our SOAR dashboard, I'll come back and talk about in a minute. But the task manager, I love this quote, and I think it's so important. It goes back to what we kicked off this webinar with, which is, uh, again, time management or how we can be more efficient becomes really the key to any relationship that you have. And I love this quote, uh, well over a hundred years ago, amazingly, because it's still true today. And the secret of getting ahead is getting started. The secret of getting started is breaking your complex, overwhelming activities into small manageable tasks and then starting on the first one. Well, that's exactly what the task manager does. It takes everything that you're working with in marketing and sales, all the various opportunities, all the leads that you have, everything, and then basically creates all of the various tasks that you need to create for each part of that business. And then we'll basically display them to you. So you've got my tasks available in your dashboard. Every morning you get up and say, okay, here's the next thing I need to do, all laid out for you. So again, extremely unusual in that it's all tied together and integrated. As I mentioned earlier, is again, we move from getting prepared and having all these systems tied together over into what we'll call the, mark, the, the marketing and sales journey, right? Which is, uh, I've got to get people in or that acquisition side of the business. We have a, a resource, again, extremely unusual. If you think about, a lot of people will talk about, ah, oh, the elevator speech, and that's your USP, and I'm going to meet somebody in the grocery store, or let's say I go to the wine and cheese festival, and I ask them all to put their names on, on a piece of paper or throw a business card in a, in a bowl at my booth. Well, those are all great things, but let's be honest, when you get home is the first thing you do is sit down and enter every one of those names into your database. And eh, most likely you're gonna deal with the four or five people who are really hot that were there and talking to you. And then rightfully so, you've gotta say, well, the priority isn't putting those other names in. I gotta deal with the people who actually want to buy a vacation and they might sit there for quite a while. And eventually it's just gonna take, what, time? It's gonna take more time to sit there and load all these things in. Well, we have built right into our technology platform what we call our lead form. 
And it's literally as simple as what you can see there on your phone. And we set it up so that every cruise planner advisor has this literally available right on their phone. Imagine now you go to the grocery store, somebody sees your cruise planner shirt, right? And says, oh, wow, you're in cruise planners. Well, that's wonderful. I, I was thinking about taking a cruise someday. Today, what happens is, is that you probably reach in, you grab a business card, say, oh, I'd love to help you. That'd be wonderful. Why don't you take this card? Well, let's be honest, what happens to most of those cards, right? They disappear in a drawer somewhere uh, at best, right? Well, instead, it's more important to collect information. Imagine if you said, oh, really, you're interested in that? That's wonderful. I can't wait to help you. Tell you what, why don't I just get a couple pieces of information and then I can reach out and we can make sure that we send you the right information about your upcoming vacations. Boom, you pull up this form, you can see it right there on that phone on the side, and just ask the simple information. Now, you can ask for more information, but, you know, when you're at the grocery store, you don't want to be saying, and give me your full address, and also, you know, how many times have you cruised before? Just simple. You want to be able to reach out and contact them. Now, the beauty is, once they fill this in, they can immediate, they immediately are entered into your database, and again, queued up for you to follow up with. So, uh, it's all integrated back into the system. No additional data needs to needs to occur. You also have a QR code for this. So let's say they don't want to touch your phone, right? Still a little pandemic thing going on. All right, great. You can show them, pull up with a QR code. It'll bring up this form on their phone. They fill it in. It'll again go right into your database. Once again, really is no one in the industry that does anything quite like that. Now, uh, Rebecca mentioned our websites and one of the huge advantages of going with cruise planners is that again we don't use a third party we don't outsource this somewhere else we don't make you do your own thing you're not spending more money by trying to get someone to build you a nice website we give this website and really if you did almost nothing it's still a phenomenal website that is uh, that we provide to you basically somewhat like you see here although it's always being updated and changed um, we got Doc there, but uh, obviously your picture hopefully will be a little bit more appealing than his. But you can see there again, you've got uh, really all the information is provided and updated by us. You're not having to spend your time. Once again, uh, the, the time element is so important here of updating this and wondering if you've got the right information in there. And do you have all your specials listed? Now, as Rebecca mentioned, you can add more to this. Let's say you do a couple groups a year or you do other things. You can add those group pages. You can add a full registration system uh, within your website for people who want to register for your groups. So all built into the system, all built as part of the website, an incredibly important part of the business that, again, allows you to have a different look and feel. So you can see that the Doc Brown side of this is still very important because we embrace the importance of you and your personality coming through but within the overall branding of cruise planners which again is that credibility factor and allows that that commonality of marketing so again there's no extra cost in this no extra cost to provide all of these and then you get to customize it to the extent that you want I mentioned a couple of times here, and here you go. Okay, all right, uh, Joni was wondering if I'm gonna sing. So it's all about the base, database, no trouble. It's all about the base, database, no trouble. Everybody, okay, well, I don't know if you're singing or not because you're all on mute, but that is so true, right? When you think about your ultimate success in this business is that yes, being a wonderful travel advisor is important, having the great offers that, again, one of the top sellers in the world is gonna offer you with cruise planners, all of those are important. But it's the, the care and feeding of that database, right? Do your customers hear from you enough? Do they have the right professional image of you because of the way that you do your marketing? All of those pieces are so important to running your business. And our whole system is designed around that. So again, when we talk about marketing, we provide tremendous amount of, of systems and tools and resources built in to CP Max, including a whole social program to, to provide you various levels of, of uh, postings and, and customized content. Uh, again, the website we mentioned, we've got a full direct mail program, email program. Again, a lot of that now is supplemented by what we get from Signature, but even beyond that, we've got all kinds of different marketing programs. Uh, of, again, scheduled emails, the customized emails, hot list, which sends out uh, touch points around anniversaries and birthdays and booking anniversaries. So, so much is built into our system to, again, help you 
uh, stay in contact with your customers and provide the right kind of things to them. And they're all linked together. So again, when we have a theme that goes out or a certain supplier we're focused on, it's gonna be through direct mail, website, social media, emails, flyers, everywhere is tied together within one coordinated marketing campaign, which again is designed to maximize your sales. So it's so important that again, you stay front of mind with customers. As we all know, people are inundated today with marketing. It doesn't mean that you can't, it means that you've got to make sure that you're in the mix, not too much, but certainly not too little. And so we have weekly e-deals e that go out. We've got a luxury focused program. Again, we do certainly most of the major brands with emails and crews and LAM packages. So you've got everything that you need to, again, make sure that you are connecting with customers to get them to pick up the phone or to send you an email. We also have what we call the Where To Next series, which is, again, a preset video that we do, and it's a, uh, a Zoom kind of call that is done for you. We actually even do the invitations for you. We send up the follow-up, we send up the reminders, plus we get an exclusive offer that's available. We do this uh, once every other month. We focus on a certain destination. We did one with the Galapagos Islands a while back, did over three and a half million dollars in business immediately following that particular webinar. So these work, they create, create a tremendous amount of, of uh, interest on various destinations and locations and suppliers. I mentioned the hot lists, which again are designed to uh, either give out uh, uh, emails and special emails on, based on birthdays or based on anniversaries, et cetera. So, then we get into what I call the sales cycle, which are all of the white boxes that you see there. And when you see that, again, that really is everything that happens to go through a sale. Now, of course, every consumer is different and even the way that you deal with customers is different, but they're all gonna pretty much follow through this. And as I mentioned earlier, we have an entire sales opportunity system that's designed to help you track and not lose track of any of those potential customers. And again, it's designed to integrate with all the other aspects of our business, including the operations that are the reservations and the database, and then all of these marketing programs, and most importantly, the task manager to make sure again, your follow-up systems are being followed and that you are staying in contact with your most important customers. So again, all of these resources that are available to you, all designed and pointed out as to where you're going to use those at the best time. When should you use each of these? Is it the time that you do the proposal delivery or during qualifying? All of those resources are available to you, including one of my favorites is we do an entire hands-free program called our trigger campaigns, which basically means from the moment of deposit all the way through and a week or so after they get back from their trip, they're gonna be sent an ongoing uh, a set of emails just to remind them of various things. And this is actually going through a whole redesign now. It's gonna be just beautiful. It's designed again, all from you, all your name, your picture. So again, it allows you to have that kind of ongoing customer service for people once they book with you and remind them of things like insurance and like shore excursions, et cetera. And again, just designed to give you as much information and to save as much time as we possibly can. Now, I mentioned earlier that I was talking for a minute about our SOAR dashboard, and this is really where you take all the things that I've talked about, all of these resources, you put a bow on it, and then we come to what we call our strengths, opportunities, aspiration, and results dashboard. In other words, our SOAR dashboard is designed so that in one place, you can go and see exactly what's happening in your business. So again, from the client database, how many do you have? We've added how many that you're adding each week? How many are you adding each day? How many are opting into the emails, have addresses, have emails? All of that information about that very important database and even client scoring system, which is an incredibly unusual and valuable asset that if you think about, again, some, that some clients are obviously different than other clients. There's people that might be on your database for five years and you've never heard from them, you don't know who they are, you know nothing about them, versus someone who spent $10,000 with you three months ago. Those are very different clients. And uh, while again, if you only have a couple clients, you might remember who they are, but as you continue to grow, you wanna basically be able to quickly look at your top clients. And that's what this client score system does. 
And again, uh, of course, we look at the agent sales by departure. So again, by purchases or by departure, either way to see how your business is doing. And you have the comparisons here of year over year that you can see what does it look like. All of this is again on one dashboard that I'm walking through. We even have it down to if you set your goal, in this case, a $3 million goal, and you have your average spend that you get from your customers, about 5,000 per reservation. This will actually break down to show you how many then reservations you need throughout the year, how many you still need, how many you need each month, how many you need each week. So it kind of takes those high numbers or things that are maybe esoteric of saying, oh, I'm gonna do a million dollars in sales. Well, let's really talk about then how many bookings is that per week? And this will break it all down for you and show it to you. So again, uh, it, it's all available on this SOAR dashboard. You can see all the different various ways that we allow you to compare your sales, your growth, where things are coming, the reservations still needed. All of this tied together within the diagram that we show you here of this is really, when you look at it, 99% of all things in the world of a travel advisor are represented here. And unlike really anyone else in the industry, we have provided technology to tie all of this together. And that really is the key differentiator. Again, I want to say our marketing programs are extraordinary and beautiful. And we, uh, again, have won awards around our marketing. Uh, and again, I will hold it up against anybody, anything out there in terms of the programs that we offer. Our support system, as Rebecca talked about, we're here to help you. We've got business coaches that are available that sit down with you one-on-one -on -one to help grow your business. We provide a number of in-person programs, including, again, our Star University, very unique. And then, as I mentioned, we also then have uh, our extraordinary technology. And our technology program, uh, again, is, uh, is without a question the best in the industry. And I've been, uh, as, uh, as was mentioned by Joni, I've been in the industry about 30 years before I joined Cruise Planner. So I'm not just, uh, well, you know, drinking the green Kool-Aid here. I, I love this company, but it was because I did my own research. And after running uh, actually a couple of the major competitors of Cruise Planners, I decided I wanted to be with the best. And uh, I looked everywhere and there was no question in my mind that when you look at the technology and look at what it's going to offer you and the ability to be more efficient and to sell more, in addition to the fact we have the highest commission levels and we've got you know a very uh, a very good commission split we call it a royalty in our business but you'll find it's as competitive as anything else that's out there but at the end is uh, the whole scenario is available to you and here's the key there might be some of you saying yeah but it's a franchise Scott so it's going to be so much more expensive I can promise you it's not now, we have programs available uh, as low as, uh, well, zero, depending on the book of business you might have. So again, if you're a successful agent uh, and have had experience in the business, we want to talk to you. We'll, we'll provide an offer to you that, again, I think you will find will be uh, as inexpensive as anything else out there. But more importantly, you know, it's not just a matter of, okay, join for free. And yes, it didn't cost you any money to to get into the system. But the reality is, is you do kind of uh, uh, normally get what you pay for, right? There is a, uh, a huge value of being part of a franchise and having all of the resources that I've been talking about today at your fingertips. And it's hard to put a price on that. And again, given the fact that you're not going to have to pay any more to be a part of Cruise Planners than you would most every other host agency out there, and get all of this technology, support, marketing, training, all of the other pieces along with that, again, I think you'll find we, we are probably the best uh, offer that's in the industry. So with that, I'm going to open it up. If uh, Joni, if there's any questions you wanna throw at me, but I wanna thank all of you so much for taking the time to listen. I know I was going at a very fast pace, but I wanted to try to cover as much as I could. There's a lot of things that maybe even popped up on the screen that I didn't get a chance to talk about. Uh, and you can tell I'm very passionate about this, as is Rebecca, as are most of the folks that are within uh, the Cruise Planners family. We've uh, created a, an extraordinary business model, and I really hope that you will uh, at least dig a little deeper and find the best way uh, that, that you can move forward in this business. And we hope that it's part of Cruise Planners. So with that, Joni, back to you. 
Wonderful. Thank you, Scott. That was fantastic. And I just have to share, um, since I've not only known you for a long time, but I've also been um, aware of everything that Cruise Planners has done throughout the years, even before you joined. And I got to say that um, it's not just, I mean, you have amazing technology and your systems are, are fantastic, but the people at Cruise Planners um, really have a lot to do with its success. I mean, it's the leadership there, um, folks, is is phenomenal. And they and it, it leadership is leadership. And sometimes you can't touch the leaders. You know, sometimes they're up there and you're down there and you're like, I don't ever get to talk or see that person. Uh, that's not the case with cruise planners. You will know everybody involved in uh, the operation of cruise planners and uh, you'll consider them friends. I, I, I certainly consider them friends. So um, I would li have a couple of questions for you, Scott. First of all, thanks for singing, Scott. I was really hoping you would throw that in there. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> so somebody had a question. She says, I, I think you may have asked, answered this already, Scott, but maybe you can touch on a little more. She said, I just recently started her business and she needs help with systems and wonders what CRM you guys use. And I know it's you're it's your own CRM, correct? Exactly right. Yeah. So that's a it's a great question because again, if you're with most host agencies or just starting off, you know that's a very important question, right? As uh, as again, I think again when you think about any business and in particular in our travel business, automation and technology becomes really the kind of the linchpin of your success long term. And for the most part, everybody turns it over to a third party. And there's about Oh, I'm going to say three or four third-party companies out there that have CRMs, some of them tied to reservation systems, some not. And of course, there's CRM systems that aren't necessarily designed for the travel industry. Um, and those are all options, but they're not the best option. The best option by far is that, that what we have is proprietary. It's built by us. It's supported by us. Uh, we literally have franchisees who call and say, you know, I'd love it if you guys did this. I'll give you one example. We had, um, as you know, what's changed in our industry a lot over the last five years is that we've gone from, okay, there's a price of a cruise and, and you know, you, you have all these prices, you put it into your system, but now you've got all these amenities, right? And it's hard to keep track of, okay, wait a minute, did that booking have the free beverage package or the free Wi-Fi or the free shore excursion or a $200 shipboard credit or they have all, all of those, right? Well, we now have what we call the amenity tracker built right into our system that you can now track all of the various amenities that every customer has. Well, any third party is not going to have that built into their system. And as I mentioned a couple of times earlier, our CRM really is, is the, the integration of all of the things that I talked about today. They're all tied together and everything talks to each other. And that might be the most valuable aspect of any technology today. No, that's so true. Everything talks to each other and that is huge. So you don't have to have so many different components and try to mesh them all together. It's it's already part of your system. So that's so true. So um, I have another question, a couple more questions, and that should do it. One of them is, can you add affiliate marketing links on your agent website? So at this point, no, we don't, uh, we don't have a, a system to do that. Now, you can create a page and actually then have... Uh, uh, in some cases, a white label available from a supplier. Uh, those are those are available, and we do allow that. So you can do that. In terms of selling ad space, though, as a kind of an affiliate partner kind of thing, uh, no, that that we don't recommend that. Number one, in terms of the way that our sites are set up, and it's not allowed for that. Uh, but we certainly do have access to and your ability to use uh, again supplier sites. Um, our white label sites that can be tied into your site. Okay, perfect. Um, and this question, I'm not sure if you can answer this question because you've got so much different product, but the question is pretty simple. It's what is the commission split? So we have what's called a 3% a royalty, which is very different than what you're going to hear when you hear all the host agencies talk about their split. Um, you know, the host agencies talk about splits anywhere, let's say from 70% all the way up to, oh, it's 100%, but you just pay X number of dollars uh, per invoice or per month or whatever the case might be. Um, ours basically comes down to probably, uh, depending again on your volume level, it could be anywhere from an 80% split all the way to a 99% a split that you get to keep because our royalties basically cap out. And so... Uh, when you get up to a certain volume, they start to decrease. They go from three to two to one to zero. So again, over a certain volume, there is no additional split. It's basically 100% yours. 
In addition to that, we don't take any royalty or any piece of any bonus commissions, any tour conductors, uh, or even uh, even any kind of uh, fees that you decide to charge. We're not taking a piece of all those. So uh, again, from a from a financial perspective, I always say, you know, is the split. Uh, and again, I think we're as competitive as anybody else out there in terms of that split, in terms of what you end up with. And remember, our commission levels are the best in the industry, without a question. And uh, and again, we we don't have any other kind of nickel and diming to kind of uh, service fees, et cetera, over and above, uh, again, our normal franchise fees. So again, it's it's I think you'll find financially it is as uh, it, it's going to be very lucrative because of all the things that we provide within that package. Fantastic. Well, I think that's a great way to end our presentation today. I wanna thank all of you for being here and being so attentive to Scott, although he is hard not to listen to, he's such a great speaker. And Scott, I so, so appreciate your being here today. Um, and I appreciate Cruise Planners and our partnership with them. Um, so I wanna thank everybody and Scott and goodbye. And I hope I get to see you soon, my friend. I hope so too. And take care, everyone. Thank you all so much. Please reach out, ask some more questions. We're here to help you at the number and email below. Fantastic. All right. Thanks, everybody, and have a great rest of your week.